Uh, welcome to show to unboxing video of this CC Pilot VC from Maxima Tech, which you can see here on the box. So let's open this one up. So this is the starter kit, but uh, we are going to have a look at what is actually included in this box. So if we open this up carefully, we'll see that we are, ah, we get greeted with a little paper here, getting a starter manual. And uh, we have, have some information about it. We will see ah, how to assemble the stand, which screws and bolts that is included. We have some information about the power outlet, how to connect it to the back side of the, of the unit. Um, so let's find the unit then. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we have it. Yes, yes let's remove the box for a while. Uh, so this is the unit which, which we have, the, the new, brand new VC pilot. Uh, and we got configurable buttons on the sides. We can hear it almost, we can hear it to make. Ah, sounds good. And on the back side, we have a diamond plate um, type of mount, which you can we'll see and understand how it works. Uh, connectors to the multi pin, and some information about the unit. So let's continue on on the unboxing here. So on the next layer, we can see that we have. Uh, uh, this stand parts, uh, we have one of these, we'll see later how that works. Here also we got uh, one piece for the stand. Um, and here we got the diamond plate mount. We got the screws and bolts which is needed to assemble this. And we have a small part here, well we'll see, we'll, we'll see where that, is, that one fits later on. And lastly, on this layer, we got the power, power brick, or power box, with the connectors to the cable. And uh, on, we'll see. On the next layer, we're gonna have more cables, which is here. We got uh, European and American style power cables, so we'll we'll work on those areas. And also here, we got the long cable, which all with all the connectors to the units. So we got power, uh, we got uh, for CAN network, uh, we got Ethernet, USB connection, and we got then two connectors which will be at attached to the unit. And then on the next layer, or for the final layer, we will find the actual, let's just pop this one out, we got the actual stand. And uh, well, we will continue on in the video and to show how actually to assemble this piece. So far, we have done the mechanical setup, which we can see here, and that's the step one, and it's time to the step two, and in the previous section of the video, we actually did the A part. So it's time to connect the power to the unit, and um, for that, we need the red power cable and the black ground, and they are going to be connected to the black, black to black, red to red. So let's start with the black one and then the red one. And this is of course connected to the wall outlet. And the LEDs on the buttons will actually flash, indicating that a unit is um, booting up. And we will see the welcome screen, the startup screen. So here we have it. So we actually have settings 
for the unit, so you can change the button layout, uh, not the layout, but you can change the functionalities of the buttons. We can calibrate the touch, we can see that a video is working, and we can use the terminal, we can rotate the display, and we can also shut down the unit. And we actually, actually can see the IP address of the unit also, if, we, it, if it was connected to, the, to a network. But for the moment, we will shut down the unit just to see that it works correctly. And the screen will go black. And, that, and after that, it's turned off. <laughs>